Okay. As we continue on, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of stuff that you probably never need. But just in case, here it is. So first off, you might have been wondering, well, how is enthalpy and internal energy related? Now, they're related through temperature in this way. Now, when I say they're related through temperature, remember that PV equals RT. And so this is the flow work portion, and that's what you're seeing right here. Enthalpy takes into account the flow work. Now, why do I want to get this as a function of temperature? Because we can then figure out how other important properties are going to vary as a function of temperature. So if we know that my enthalpy is equal to my internal energy plus that temperature, and I take a derivative, I can see how it would change with temperature. Now, if I know that dH is equal to my specific heat at constant pressure times dt, and that my du, my internal energy change, is equal to Cv, specific heat at constant volume times my temperature change, I can then relate together my specific heat at constant pressure, my specific heat at constant volume, using the ideal gas constant. Do you have to do this often for problems? Really, no. In all honesty, most of the time, both of these are given to you. But here it is, just so you know it. Now what is super important is this thing right here, the ratio of specific heats. As a note, this is also given to you in most problems where you need it, but if it's not, and when we get to chapter seven, we will need this all the time, um, you can calculate it by taking the ratio of your specific heats. As a note, since your specific heats change with temperature, this guy's also gonna change with temperature. But that variation is fairly mild until you get to high temperatures. So for monatomic gases like helium, argon, it's typically around 1.667. For diatomic gases, including air, because air is mostly made up of diatomic gases, it's 1.4. That's at room temperature though. It does change as you get to higher temperatures, but you know, for us and what we're dealing with, it's typically about this. Okay, so a little bit of stuff that you might not need all that often, but the ratio of specific heats, you see that all the time. You use that all the time. And while most of the time it's given to you, if it's not, it can be very, very helpful. Just remember that it's different for different gases. Okay, see y'all later, bye-bye.